I have a deep, deep affinity for artists and creatives. Well, we're all creative in our own right. And Scott Forrest has a gift like no other, but it sort of runs in the family. It does. Uh, the Tahoe Art League's been around since 1963, and I've been around just a little bit longer than that, but it's little, little, we're, we're both a little older than the city of South Lake Tahoe, oh, which, yeah. is where the, which is where the series is this year, of course. Yes. And you can get on your bike, you can get around to all these wonderful studios, there's maps, you can go to talart.org, okay. and just bring up everything, uh, and just, you know, super easy, super digital, super, Food, fun, everything, just go around, grab your stuff, throw it in your pocket, move on to the next one, buy big art, you know, whatever you want. Yeah, <laughs> it'll be fun. It so that's what weekend. the tour is. People can go throughout right. the city right. and go see different artisans and right. stores. All the way up around the lake, the East Shore, so forth. Incredible homes, artist studios, working artist studios. And one of the best artists we've got anywhere around is Yvonne McGrath. Okay. She's up here just, just, just doing these fantasy flowers. Oh, take a look at this. And just exquisite work. And this thick oils and things that she does, it's just, they're just so unique. It's just a feeling she has with the color and the energy. She has the longest running show uh, anywhere in Tahoe. She's been about six or seven, boy, it's a lot of years now, uh, at the college in the library that kept her permanent collection there. It seems, feels permanent. And then she's been doing, uh, at one point, she had more than five shows running at the same time here in oh, South wow. Tahoe. Really incredible. There's so many wonderful artists, but boy, I just keep loving looking at all this beautiful it's color. gorgeous. I and, and I agree with you. I, for me, I love big, bold, beautiful colors, certainly of nature when it's involved. I saw that sunset yeah. or sun or whatever, that moonlight, whatever it was, that was absolutely you can, stunning. But look at the difference. See, with this, the fish is just so sweet and then it just moves into these kind of hard lines and bright backgrounds. But it's just, again, she's an intuitive artist. You feel, she feels it like these wonderful thistles and this beautiful lake scene. Look at that. If that yeah. is a Tahoe on a stormy day. Absolutely. Incredible. Incredible now, work. can people learn and w not only just watch but I think I had a beautiful conversation with someone like, no, that you can. It's also somewhat educational, so and inspirational, educational. right? You can get classes at talart.org. Cool. You can go. You can just join and help and volunteer. You can. Wow, I mean, everybody's a volunteer there, so there's just lots of energy, lots of excitement. Hey, come over. They'd love to paint you, I'm sure. I'm sure. I've they seen. A, I've been painted before. Yeah, they have a nice. <laughs> um, well, anyway, they have to pull the curtains for that series, but it's a good one. It's, you know, they have lots of fun people coming and and doing uh, figurative work and all okay. kinds of stuff. So it's a it's a really. And great you time. have great work throughout the city. I mean, I, everywhere you go, oh, there's pieces you. of you. And I, and can people see your work? At the Mailoff Center, okay. uh, that's a long-running show. We've got uh, Taste of Gold coming up to raise money for the scholarships for the college. Oh, wonderful. And uh, this beautiful Lisa Mailoff Center on the college campus, exclusive work uh, all for long-term, and it's just large-scale work. So it's a beautiful Leeds building, 30-foot ceiling. Go in, put on the 3D glasses. They'll give you a nice tour. And uh, visit the Art League, too. By gosh, there's so many great things. So cost-effective on the great prices and stuff. Pull in when you're heading out of town. And, okay. Uh, yeah. Well, there will, no, that, this is what I want to ask you, because there are, like you said, from the East Shore, South Shore, North Shore, there's yeah. so many great artisans here and, and a, celebrating what we do. Yes. How can people plan accordingly to go, right, how do I make the most of this tour? There's a map, and there's time. So it's, okay. it's from 11 to 4. And it's Friday, Saturday, and Sunday this weekend, and then the following weekend. La it's okay. always the last weekend in, in July and the first weekend in August. Re it's just so much fun. There's always food and drinks, and everybody really takes care of everybody when you show up. It's just, wow. it's a blast. Well, there you, know, you go. You get real you intimate with the You do just the same. You're, you're yeah. taking care of the artisans here. Oh, you, thank you. You say it boldly. You say it proudly. And yeah. I definitely get involved, get engaged, get out there, do the tour, plan mm -hmm. accordingly so you can make the most of it. Scott Forrest, appreciate Thank you, you checking so in with us. Thanks, Sean. All right, Thanks. appreciate it. All right, more coming your way. This or that Thursday? Stick around.